this video will try to discuss and explain the second type of circular curve which is known as compound curve by def definition a compound curve is a combination of two or more circular curves or simple curves having different values of radius whose centers lies on the same side of the curve as shown in the figure so the keywords are two or more simple curves different pages centers lies on the same side of the curve so all the elements are the same as compared to the simple curve except for a new element of PCC or the point of compound curve so notice that we have a common tangent so this is the tangent that connects the point of intersection for the first curve and the point of intersection for the second curve so this is your tangent for the first curve and these are your tangents for the second curve so when we try to extend the tangent of the first curve and the tangent of the second curve the point of intersection is the vertex and the angle it makes is equal to the central angle of the first curve and the plus the central angle of the second curve so we still have the external distance and the middle ordinate for the first curve as well as the second curve so to further understand the problem or the curve we'll try to solve one problem the problem says a compound curve is a common tangent 520 meters long the first curve passing through the PC is a 3 degree curve with a central angle of 50 degrees passing through the PC find the length of the second curve if its central angle is 35 degrees so, first let's try to identify the given. So, we have the common tangent. So, we have the common tangent T1 plus T2 equals 520 meters. We have the degree of the first curve equal to 3 degrees central angle of the first curve is equal to 50 degrees and the central angle of the second curve is equal to 35 degrees the figure would look like um, let's assume that we have two different length of 
pages so we have our one shorter than our two so this is our common tangent this is your pc pcc pt pi1 pi2 and this is your vertex so we have the central angle 50 degrees for first curve and 35 degrees for the second curve so the common tangent is 520 meters long and 20 value that we are trying to solve is the length of the second curve or the LC2 so that is the required so we have LC2 so in order to solve the problem with the given degree of the first curve and the central angle of the first curve we can determine the value of the radius of the first curve and the tangent line of the first curve so Solving for the R1, we have R1 equals 1145.916 over D1, 3 degrees. So we have 2 381.972 tangent 50 degrees over 2 we have T1 equals 178.12 meters now we already have the value of T1 so for the third step let's solve for the value of T2 which is equal to T2 equals 520 minus T1 so we have T2 equals 520 minus 178.12 we have the value of T2 equals 341.88 meters after we found out the value of T2 we can solve for the value of R2 for our step 4 so we have T2 equals R2 
tangent i2 over 2. We can write this equation to r2 equals t2 over tangent i2 over 2. So we have 341.88 divided by tangent of 35 degrees over 2. So we have the value of R2 which is equal to 1,084.305 meters so the assumption is correct so the first radius is smaller than the second radius now for the next step so having the value of the radius of the second curve and the central angle for the second curve we can now solve for the value of LC2 LC2 is equal to the value of R2 times I so we have 1084.5 305 times 35 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees in order to convert the angle to region so we have LC2 equals So the second curve is 662.392 meters long. And that is the value of the LC2.